It's been almost one year since Yulia Johnson was able to bring her mother here to Billings from Sumy, Ukraine, a place that's still suffering amidst the Russian-Ukraine war. However, with another war raging halfway across the world between Israel and Hamas, the two hope people will keep the plight of Ukraine in mind. It might feel peaceful here at Yulia Johnson and Marina Petrosenko's home in central Billings. <laughs> But that's not the case nearly 6,000 miles away in their hometown of Sumy, Ukraine. I have a lot of relatives uh, from my dad's side who lived like around Sumy and uh, they report all the time that like some people they just like, continue to be in bomb sh uh, shelters and they continue to be on the basements. Marina escaped scenes like that nearly one year ago when she came here to Billings, knowing her own nephews were fighting for their freedom. She prays about uh, her nephews all the time and she feels that this offering uh, protects them. But in the same time, she hopes that this war will be over pretty soon. Though most of the attention has been on the Israel-Hamas war halfway across the world, Ukrainians like Marina and Yulia are still suffering. We have a memorial for him in our house because it's Ukrainian tradition. Yulia had just started the paperwork to bring her dad Igor to Billings last fall. He was ready, I think. He helped the army, he did his part. He, uh, but he realized that he wants to see his family as well. Unfortunately, Igor would never arrive, passing from a stroke just before reuniting with his family. His papers was almost ready, so like we just waited when he turned 60. It was like two months before he turned 60. Like it was like so close. What is this? I understand. He very wanted to come here, but she understands it's life. Yes, God has its own plan. It's hard to accept. But she tries every day, just like keep him in, in her memories. Despite the suffering, the mother-daughter pair are hopeful for an end to the bloodshed for their own country and others. Sometimes like my friends ask, ask me, is the war over? I'm like, no, I know it's not in the media. And uh, in the, our world, if something's not in the media, it kind of doesn't happen. And, uh, um, but just to remember, it's going on. It's still going on. In Billings, Alina Howder, MTN News.